the most important thing should be in the best planner i feel like that's the logic there hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today we have the techo kaigi 2023 techo kaigi comes from the words techo which means notebook and kaigi or kaiji i might not be pronouncing it correctly but it means meeting so this is a notebook meeting 2023 Notebook meetings are very important, especially if you have multiple planners or m multiple notebooks and journals. I recommend once every month or once every week. If the layouts are weekly, you should um, open your planners and look at all of them one by one and also all together, just so you're clear that the notebook that you're using is still serving its original purpose or the purpose that you have allotted for it. So here are all the different planners that I have for 2023 I'm going to be using or try to use for the first quarter of 2023. I will have Techo Kaigi, a mini Techo Kaigi every week. So I have eight notebooks all here. And we're going to go through them one by one. I have several brands. I have my Kinbor my Hobonichi and my Leuchtturm. Just to recap, this is the Leuchtturm pocket notebook and this one is in gray. Let me just fix this. And this is going to be my Bujo commonplace as well as my inbox notebook. This is also going to be my everyday carry whenever I go out to places where I'm not going to be able to open any of my other planners because there isn't enough time and the environment isn't right for it, then this is the notebook that I will be using. Next, we have my four Hobonichis. These are all Hobonichi weeks, which I have named. And before I go into the first one, I'm going to be explaining my naming process. So I decided this year to name my Hobonichi books. That is because some of these books have really long names. For example, this one is called Sweet Pink. That's two words. So instead, I wanted everyone to be uniform. I wanted everyone to be on the same umbrella. That's why I just decided to rename all of them. So this notebook is Star. And then we have this Sweet Pink Hobonichi Weeks, which is Dawn. We have the leather silver white who is sun we have the white line in black who is moon and then the Hobonichi Weeks mega sneaker in navy and this is eclipse and then we also have my Kinbor planners which I have hauled and I will link that card up above and this one is the, I forgot what this was called, but this had a name and we are just calling her Sky. And then this green one is an A5 and there's an entire story of why I have this planner. I do highly recommend watching the video of my haul of this. And she is now called Earth. And lastly, I have this A5 black Kinbor that is dailies. This is night. And let's go ahead and transition into the first Tobonichi weeks. Okay, let's start with this one. And you have seen this before because I have a video of the haul and first impressions of this planner. This is the Tobonichi weeks smooth line. So it is soft cover. This is the sweet pink one, and I am very happy to have her. She's really pastel, which makes me happy, and she's going to be my YouTube planner or social media planner, actually, because it also has Instagram. Even though I'm really busy, if you're new here and you don't know already, I am a PhD student currently, and I'm going to be finishing or submitting my thesis February. So I do not have a lot of time. That's why I am very busy, but I decided that I'm going to keep up with YouTube because I've received so much support from everyone here on YouTube. And I'm just so happy 
that you guys are enjoying my content so this has all of my um, pre-production production and post-production as well as sharing the the videos and this is just going to help me with that kind of activities and i put her in a cover and cover from hobonichi and this is the 2023 light in the distance i think that is what it's called and you don't actually need to do this but i thought that this is just gonna keep her from getting very dusty and give her a little bit more personality that may match the rest of my planners because she's the only one that's really very pastel in my hobonichi line so adding the cover and cover with all the stars and also like theme would be really appropriate so that she looks like she belongs in this lineup and by the time that I did this, I didn't have my Kinbor Weeks, which is also pastel. And she is the first planner here, planner number one, and she's the social media planner. So now let's move on to the next one. Next, we have such a beautiful planner. This is the most beautiful Hobonichi Weeks I have ever owned. I love my Maaya Sakamoto. When I saw the Maaya Sakamoto, I know that in deep, deep in my heart, that she is my unicorn planner and I did everything I could to get her and I was able to do it I was very happy it was a journey <laughs> and for 2023 because I was so busy and so stressed out with um, with schools so I decided I'm not gonna get another Maya Sakamoto and also because the Maya Sakamoto I have now my dream Hobonichi cannot be surpassed by another Maya Sakamoto. She will never be, never, ever, ever be replaced by anything else. So I decided that I'll just purchase all of my Hobonichi weeks from the official website. And in the official website, this, for me, for me, this is the most beautiful one in the lineup. That is, of course, very subjective. There are very beautiful weeks that came out for 2023, but this one is just, for me, perfection. Um, I put her in a cover and cover because she's such a soft leather. This is an actual leather cover. She does open flat and the way that she's made is so different from other Hobonichis. For example, the ribbons are so good. Like the ribbon bookmarks have always been my pet peeve with Hobonichi. I mean, I'm it's it's not a very big deal in, in the end. It's still a wonderful planner. It's still my favorite planner type or brand. But this one had all the things that I wanted in a Hobonichi. You know, it, the price difference of this and the regular Hobonichis is actually substantial. And you feel that price difference when you have this. I cannot recommend this enough. If you have a chance to splurge, this is a really good item to get, but at the same time, it doesn't have an extra functionality that would make this a better planner than the other Hobonichi Weeks. I'm not saying that. It's just that it feels very different. It does feel luxurious. Uh, my only really little issue here is that it's very soft, so I feel like it will be easy to dent this that's why i put her in a cover and cover it's not recommended but i have had hobonichi weeks in the past that have just completely deteriorated so although i won't be able to feel the beautiful leather um while i'm using her in storage i plan to just take this plastic off or maybe i should do that the other way around let me know in the comment down below what i should do should i take it out of the cover while i'm using it and then put the cover on for storage or should i keep it in the cover while i'm using it and then take it out of the cover for storage after 2023. Okay, so this is the Hobonichi Weeks Leather Silver White. I don't think I've said that already. And she is called Sun because look at how she shines. And although she's not yellow. So she is my health and wellness planner as well as my learning planner. And I'll be explaining all of that when i do my setup flip through of her in the video series i think it's the third video in this series and you will understand what she really is meant for there but let's just put it as health wellness and learning 
for now. So that is another area of my life that I like to document and in the past I would do it in like random notebooks and then I realized that those are the most important things for me for my self-development and I wanted to put it in a planner in a nice one in a nice planner the most important thing should be in the best planner I feel like that's the logic there and that's why I picked her for my health and wellness and learning so that is it for her let's move on to the next one next we have this planner and this is my favorite highly recommended regular hobonichi weeks planner so although the leather silver white is the most gorgeous of them all this one is the most utilitarian the most user friendly it will not give you any trouble it's a very light it is soft cover and i had the white version of this and it had been such a joy to use it if you're looking for a hobonichi that is really easy to use beautiful will not give you any trouble it doesn't lie flat at the beginning you just need to train it so you just need to like bend it back and she will lie flat eventually if you are bothered by that you can also use the music clip that i use for my new ones but this one really didn't need that much training to lay open the good thing about this is because it's PU leather if you spill anything on top you can just wipe it off as long as you wipe it off pretty quickly and because it's black it, even if that happens and it stains it's not going to be too obvious and because I have my cover and cover it's never gonna do that so you also don't need to have a cover and cover on this but I thought that I just have a little bit more protection and it's gonna make it easier for me to have it light open i'm trying not to open her so that it's still a surprise it's kind of messed up here but that's me not the cover and cover so this cover and cover is hobonichi and it also gives me pockets here should i need it and this is my home planner and getting a new place that is smaller so not a lot of people there therefore all of the things need to be done by us me and my husband so i thought that in order to keep up with all of the tasks all of the roles that we play a home planner is going to just help with managing a household this also contains finance so bills as well we are going to need well i am going to need a tracker for that and this is the planner for that task there's also quite a bit more here that i will explain in the next video and the name of this planner is moon if you haven't seen that video of my haul of this i will link it in the cards below but she's supposed to cover sun because the next next planner will give you the reasoning for that so she covers sun and then we have eclipse so Eclipse was the first planner in my cart. She was the one that I really wanted. She is a Hobonichi Weeks sneaker mega and I can't open this. It's fully set up. So let's just look at that. And here we have the reason why it doesn't fit the cover and cover because the cover of this book is flush to the paper. That's what it's really designed to do. It's supposed to be the sturdy one the one you use when you go out it bends it doesn't it lies flat it will lie flat once again it just needs training oh i forgot to say in all my other videos so if you look at the spine the spine is flush to the cover and what's going to happen is that this will bend into itself and that will make this lie flat so that's what we usually mean when we're breaking the spine we're helping the spine bend into itself okay let's just demo this like that and once it's able to do that then it will lie open of course it's not going to be behaving like say this notebook because this notebook is hardcover so she doesn't do that but she is very good in terms of ease of use she's actually really good and i highly recommend getting a sneaker and of course she is a mega that means that there's like extra pages at the back and in the beginning i thought okay this she was going to be my home planner 
and then I realized that I needed the space for all my academic things so I have pending projects and I want them to go all in here so I could just use this instead of my PhD notebooks she's planner and PhD notes or research notes at the same time if you are into science you know that we actually do a lot of note-taking very very <laughs> intense note taking everything must be um, noted and that's very important for the type of work that i do of course not everyone will do that but for that purpose eclipse is going to do great for it and now we're going to go into the kin wars so this is the first kin war that we have today we have three and this is sea breeze she is this is the name Kinbor Weekly. The format of this is very similar to the weeks, the Hobonichi weeks, like right here. And I'll go into depth with the explanation for this in my setup flip through, but you can already see quite a few things here and you've seen it in my haul video. I added a few more things and now she is very well into getting set up, like completely set up. So the name of this is Sky because she is blue and I thought that she really um, followed the theme like from Dawn. So in comparison, Dawn is just a tiny bit brighter than Sky, but they are of the same pastel family. So I'm very happy about that. They matched. And once again, I'm going to link the video of that in the cards or below as well. I guess I got very lucky getting her and I'm actually really loving her so much. I did not expect it. Um, there's also quite a few requests, a uh, fountain pen, um, pen test, and I'm just going to spoil that now. She works great. She can take pens, not the most watery M nib pens or pen and fountain pen ink combination but she does well with less watery F nibs. So what is the purpose of this planner? So when they came in, so the Hobonichi weeks were all done. The Hobonichi weeks before they arrived into my collection already had purpose. I've already thought about how I'm going to use them. This one is a complete surprise. She was originally going to be a journal. Now, the, a journal is not a diary. It's a completely different thing for me. So here I have a diary. So Sky is going to be my diary. So if I want to document um, life events, then it's going to be in this planner. So that's just a sneak peek of how I'm going to use it. But there's quite a few things here as well that I wanted to track. This is thicker than the Hobonichi Weeks because the paper is a little bit thicker differences in thickness but that's not a very big problem for me i plan to use a lot of stickers on here so it being a hoboni no it being a pu leather will just help with the bulk so i am very excited to use her next we have this planner and this is the kinboard techo that is what they called it but i did rename her her personal name is Earth because she's green and I, I was very surprised that these are now in, in my collection so I didn't have time to find really good names for them but she is Earth and she is an A5 timed weekly. Now I've said in the past I don't like time planners like or I don't often block out time but I thought that this time hey maybe it's a good idea to like do time blocking that might be something that would be very helpful especially since I, once I'm done with my PhD I will have time in my hands once again to do other things I can't wait for that moment and I think this is a good celebrate celebration of that time where I have more time to do other things and I did already um, put stickers on her and she is somewhat set up I think I have to do a little bit more things here before I could show you but she and the next planner will come in the last video of this series so let's take a look at the next one 
And lastly, we have the Kinbor, Kinbor Techo Dailies. So it's daily pages. And she is my daily logs. Her name is Knight. And she has really substantial, not, not too substantial, but very generous grid pages at the back. It's not um, dated. No, not dated, but like there's no page numbers. There's no page numbers at the bottom. It's just like random notes because you're expected to like put notes down on the pages themselves. And I thought this was going to be a really nice daily dump. And I wanted to have a dedicated planner for my daily logs. I was going to do daily logging in my rings planner, but since I have this and it's already dated, it's just really easy. So actually, Earth and or uh, no, Night and Earth together are my really on the go daily planners. I would be opening both of these on a dailies versus the other planners which let's get into right now okay so the last part of this techo kaigi is telling you oops <laughs> telling you about how i'm planning to plan in these so i'm gonna be dividing them into dailies and then weekly and then monthly okay no just dailies and weekly actually so it's easier so when i say dailies or weekly i mean how often do i really use or consult these planners so i'm gonna be focusing on use so first on the dailies because this is my EDC, she is my inbox. So Star is my inbox. Being an inbox, she needs to be open all of the time at any point in time. That's why I tend to be using ballpoint pens on this because it's just easier. There's no wait time. Um, gel pens also because there's no wait time. But the best pen for this is felt tip. It's super dark does not have any drying time at all really convenient to be using felt tip pens so that's what i recommend so this is a daily planner the next daily planner obviously would be my actual daily logs which is night so star and night together look at how gorgeous that is the dailies the actual dailies at any given time of the day i want to be opening these planners and logging things and writing things down. I like to, and I know a lot of people don't like to, repeat information. I repeat information because I do not trust my memory and I don't want it to have this one notebook that has all the things and then I lose this notebook and where are all my things? Gone. I back up things. It's a science thing, I think, as well. <laughs> Because in, in research, when you do something, you back it up two th times, three times, four times. You regularly back up things. So that practice, I bring it into my planning. I write things multiple times. And each time I write it in my planner, it actually changes the information. So first you have the information log, and then you categorize and from there it becomes a curated information so although it's the same information it's actually being transformed and in the end because you've already curated that that's the one that sticks to your memory for example dinner with husband it's date night category is it's a life relationship activity you are in terms of goals you are moving forward a goal which is to build a good relationship with people. And then when you curate, you can then write down, we went to this place, it's a new place, it's great, I love this and this and this. My husband said something funny about this and this and this. Will I go back to it again? It depends with traffic. 
things like that so it's the same information but it goes through transformations so that is what it's going to be for the dailies however at the beginning and the end of the day i want to be consulting this as well this is the schedule so i've made the schedule and in the beginning of the day i will look at my schedule i have x amount of time for x activity so i immediately know in the day and with the star and the earth open because star is inbox then i can immediately know that okay i have these pending things and i was going to schedule them for later in the week but maybe i can check one off and things like that so beginning and end of day is this doesn't necessarily need to be open all the time and then the dailies are over here so i'm gonna be putting the earth planner in my dailies pile whereas everything else here are weeklies so i will not be consulting these on a dailies but if i do have something very important to write for example likely this sneaker planner is going to be open so we have some planners here that may be consulted at the end of day but it's not going to be the same planner all of the time definitely not this one because that one is sunday at the end of the week and possibly this one too okay so these three ones are the three main categories so i have my social media my home and my academic or work planner and these will probably be open a couple of times per week but it's so at the end of the day i will choose one planner to open depending on time if i have so much time at night i'm not too tired i have so much time to write things down then all these three it just depends on time and the earth planner is going to help with that so this is my couple of times a week and then these two are my weeklies so my sun and my sky together and they match so well sun and sky so they they are going to be my weekly books so at the end of the week i want them to be open and i think that um what i'm doing is sort of like back planning or memory planning but of different things so health and wellness at the end of the day or if there's something really important it can go into here otherwise everything is going to be taken over by or handled by my kinboard a5 dailies which is night so night will take all of them um, and then this is my diary so sky is my diary and of course with a diary stuff needs to happen prior and then you put it in your diary so this is definitely memory keeping but the one thing that this needs to do is to close the week weeks just fly by for me weeks are the same but in reality it shouldn't feel that way i don't want it to feel that way so i want to have a record where i just sit down it's sort of like journaling but i'm just journaling about the day and that is what this is for let's recap so i have my dailies and end of day which is earth and then i have my couple of times a week which are my hobonichi weeks sneaker eclipse moon and dawn and then i have my once a week which is sun and sky and that is it for us today in this techo kaigi 2023 quarter one admittedly this is a very good plan but may be changing depending on how i feel about those plans and in the next videos of this video series mind we have a video one video every day for seven days this is video number one i will be talking through all of these planners separately and i hope that you guys get ideas from all of these and i'm very sorry i do apologize that i'm unable to film like a, a demo type of video where you're watching me put stickers down write things down line things i can't do that right now i don't have enough time whenever i have time i usually have it at night and the lighting isn't very good so there was no point to be filming in that condition so I just decided to 
just talk to you about it. It still will be quite informative, so do watch out for those videos. And I hope that you are able to get something from this video. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please leave it in a comment down below. I will make sure to get to it as soon as I can. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more planning ideas and tips. And of course, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!